What up guys, Digital Slang. Today we're gonna check out the Beat Studio Buds. I got the black colorway here. First impression video, not a full review, but let's jump right in. We're gonna take a look. I do have the black colorway. It also comes in red and white, and it's a matte finish. You guys know how much I love my matte black, although I do wish I would have picked up the red. The red looks very nice, very clean, but the black colorway here, the packaging, Real quick, very nice. I love the black box with the Beats branding. Picture of the buds on the front. They're gonna be very small, compact earbuds. They do come with ANC and transparency mode. Price on these guys, $150. So we're gonna see how good they are. Now, also in the packaging, we are going to get a USB Type-C. Look how small this thing is. This is ridiculous. For $150, give me a real cord. But it is USB Type-C. Now we also are going to get a little try it free Apple Music card up to three months free of Apple Music, which is cool. And then the rest of the paperwork. And we also do get a sticker, a beat sticker. Kind of cool. I haven't seen one of these in a very long time. So not bad. And of course, some extra silicone tips. Now again, price 150 ANC transparency mode. There is an app for Android users. You're not going to need the app for an iPhone. And let's take a look at the actual case here. Now the one LED light here on the front, the glossy black finish on the top of the earbuds and on the bottom, the port to charge. Now no wireless charging on here, Bluetooth 5.2. And again, there is an app if you are an Android user, you're not gonna need the app on an iPhone. And this does also have a quick connect for iPhone and for an Android device. Now, if we take a look at the actual earbuds, again, very small and compact earbuds, the branding on the top, and it's a glossy finish on top with a matte finish on the side. Overall, very nice and compact. You guys know I'm returning my XM4s because they're too big. I am really looking forward to these to see how they fit over an extended period of time because they're very small and compact earbuds. Now, battery life on here, eight hours and 16 with the case. And that is with ANC off and with ANC on, you're gonna get about five hours and 10 with the case. Again, no wireless charging, but it does have a quick charge feature where five minutes will get you, get you one hour of battery life on these earbuds. So let's jump in. I'm gonna show you guys the instant pairing on these earbuds and then we'll connect them to a phone and We'll go from there. Now trying to connect these on an Android device, all you're gonna have to do is open up the lid and we should get that pop-up animation here and it's going to allow you to connect. Beat Studio Buds, you hit connect on here. We hit setup and there is an app for Android. Again, it's gonna take you right to the app. You select the Beats Studio Buds. You can go in, once it's connected, it's gonna give you the battery percentages of the case of the actual earbuds. Here, you can go between transparency mode and noise canceling. You can rename them. Some product features you can explore. You do have some options as far as touch controls on here. And that's pretty much it as far as the app goes. But again, you do get an app, which is always a good thing. Now, of course, to connect these on an iPhone, same thing, you're gonna open up the lid and we should get that same pop-up animation. If for some reason it doesn't pop up, there is a button here. You can hold that down and we should get the animation. So as you can see here, we do get it. We hit connect and we should be good to go. And we're gonna go in. We're gonna see how these look, see how they fit. We'll do a mic test, do all the good stuff we normally do. And I'll give you my first impressions on the Beat Studio Bud. So we are connected. Let's throw them in, check them out. Now again, fit wise, these things are very compact, very lightweight. And I like them so far, so good. But I do have these spin fit ear tips on here to give me that good seal, to give me that good sound. And I am using transparency mode right now. It does turn on as soon as I put these in. And the buttons on here, they're not touch buttons like the other AirPods or some other earbuds. They are physical buttons. The Beat logo on the side is an actual button that you have to push. So over time, when I do the full review, I'll let you know if we get any ear fatigue for that but right now we're gonna jump in we're gonna do a mic test let you guys hear the mic all right guys the new beat earbuds this is the mic test how's it sound this is what it would sound like if you're on a phone call in a quiet room let me know how's it sound drop a comment below and let me know now we are in a crowded room and again this is what it's gonna sound like if you're on a phone call and there's people around talking coffee shop whatever it is this is what it would sound like give you an idea anyway what it would sound like if you're on a phone call Drop a comment, let me know what you think of the mic. 
Now on these earbuds, again, there is an app for an Android device and on an iPhone, what you have to do, if you go into Bluetooth settings and it's just like the AirPods, if you find your Digital's Beat Studio Buds, you click on the blue info button, it's gonna take you in here. You can go in and you can rename them and this is where you would switch between transparency mode, off, and noise cancellation on here. So this is where you're gonna go in, your left and your right press and hold, your Beat Studio Buds, you can have it switch between noise control and Siri. And well, that's basically it. So we'll see the touch controls in a second when we scroll through them. Let's talk sound quality and volume on these earbuds. Volume, these things get very loud. So plenty of volume. It's not gonna be an issue for everyone. You guys know I like loud music and I cannot listen to these nowhere near full volume. They get super loud. And sound quality, these have 8.2 millimeter drivers. So they bang with the amount of volume you get. And I'm actually kind of impressed how good these sound. I didn't expect, I expected them to be bass heavy and to be maybe even a little muddy, but that's not what I'm hearing. They sound pretty clear. The vocals come through nice on, on uh, the right genre of song. Overall, I'm very pleased with how these sound. I think I'm gonna be using these if I can wear these over an extended period of time, because right now they're comfortable in my ears, but I've only had them in for, a, you know, a day or two I've only worn them. So over an extended period of time, we're gonna check out and see how they really feel in my ears. But the sound quality on these earbuds, guys, I am impressed with how they sound. They're louder than the AirPods Pro. They're louder than the AirPods. Overall, I like it. The bass is punchy. It's not muddy. It doesn't take away from anything else. Overall, it's a pretty good sound. For 150 bucks, I think it's a good middle space, right? The AirPods are coming in, I think, right around 99. The AirPods Pro at 200. And then these in the middle, right around 150. If you're on a little smaller budget, these might be a good option. And overall, I'm I'm pleased with the sound. There's, there's, of course, much better earbuds out there when it comes to sound quality. But for the price, I think these do a good job of falling in that middle bracket when it comes to Apple's earbuds products. Now let's talk about transparency mode on these earbuds. It's not bad. It's not AirPod Pro transparency mode quality, but it's pretty good for what it is. Slightly digitally sounding. It's not too bad. It's almost natural sounding. And overall, it's kind of, think better than mid-range, right? Again, not AirPod Pro quality, and there's a lot of earbuds out there with probably better transparency mode or ambient mode, or whatever you want to call it. There is a little bit of white noise coming in, and, you know, it's not so bad, though. I'm, I actually don't mind the level of transparency mode. It's okay. It's mid-range, maybe a little better than mid-range. And the same with the noise canceling. The noise canceling does a decent job at taking out some of the low end frequencies. It's not gonna compete with any of the higher end earbuds, right? It's not gonna compete with the AirPod Pros. It's not gonna compete with the XM4s, the XM3s, the Sennheisers. It's not that level of ANC, but it's decent. It does a decent job at taking out the low end rumbles. You're still gonna get a bunch of the high end noises. Voices are gonna come through pretty much without an issue on these earbuds, but for the price, it's a good spot to be in for ANC and transparency mode, honestly. Both of them are probably mid-range, right? Middle tier on both ANC and transparency mode. Now, unfortunately, we do not have volume control on these earbuds, and I'm gonna show you the touch controls, how they work. Again, it's a push button on here, and you can change what this does, you can activate your voice assistant or have it scroll through ANC transparency mode in the settings if you touch and hold for two seconds on either earbud. Right now it's set to scroll through ANC transparency mode or turn that off. But if we play some music on the right earbud and we just push it once, again, physical buttons, it does pause. If we hit it again, it does play and it's the same on both earbuds. And of course that is how you will answer and end the phone call. And if we double tap on either earbud, it's gonna go to the next track and on the left earbud, the same thing. And of course, triple tap, we'll go back to the next track. And I am a little worried about ear fatigue with the push buttons once you get into two and three taps. But, you know, the way I listen to earbuds, I'm not gonna be using those too much, but it could be an issue if you do that quite a bit. Now, no in-ear detection on here, but you can take one out, put it in the case, and use one earbud at a time. And you do have full controls over that earbud. So if you want to extend your battery life that way, 
you can do that. So overall, look, these first impressions on these are pretty good for the price. Now watching content on these earbuds is not going to be an issue. YouTube videos, Netflix, anything like that, you're gonna be fine. Like gaming, you're not going to experience any delay between audio and video. The heavier games, every now and then, you will experience some delay. Shooting a rifle, shooting a gun, or something like that inside of the game, you might notice a slight delay. Now, the market is littered right now with fantastic earbuds at a much lower price point than these. So I'm gonna be doing comparison videos coming up, my full review, that's when I'll answer the question, are these worth it? Because 150 is still a lot of money today, right? And we're getting at 100 bucks, even at 60, 70, 80 bucks, we're getting fantastic earbuds right now. So 150, we are paying for the Apple tax and the Beats tax, right? There's a little extra there. And, but overall, like first impressions, off the top of my head right now, the pros, I like the quick connect feature for both iPhones and Android users. I do like how the sound, you guys know I like loud earbuds and I like that bass. These deliver on that. There's gonna be earbuds out there with more clarity than these, but for me, this is more than good enough when it comes to sound quality, right? The bass is there. If you get a bass heavy song, you're gonna feel it. These things punch. It doesn't muddy up too much. The high stand out and the bass stands out more than the mids. The mids might get lost on some songs, but overall battery life on here with ANC on, again, right around five hours. It's very similar to the AirPod Pros. And we'll compare these to the AirPod Pros. The ANC and transparency mode, think mid-range, not top tier by any means. There's a lot of earbuds out there that do it better when it comes to transparency mode and ANC. And I like the look, I like how compact these are. I'm not sure how I feel about the physical buttons yet. With the ear fatigue, I might prefer touch controls moving forward on earbuds, even though every now and then you might miss it. But physical buttons, you know, if it's not sensitive enough, it might be a problem in your ears over an extended period of time. I like the look of these earbuds, very small, compact. And I like the colors, the black, red, and white with the matte finish. And another good thing, if you are using Apple Music, which I am just signing up to Apple Music, so I'll get more into spatial audio and Dolby Atmos, probably in the review, the full review, we'll dive more into that. But if you're an iPhone user and you are subscribed to Apple Music, these will automatically play in spatial audio with Dolby Atmos on songs that have that available. So overall, look, it's a good experience so far. First impressions are, I think, better than I thought they would be with these earbuds. I was a little worried. Beats, you know, in the past are bass heavy, not the most, they don't have the most clarity, I should say. But overall, I like these. I like, I like these a lot. I'm gonna use these probably for an extended period of time and probably be one of my top earbuds to use, especially when I'm going to the gym. I think these are gonna be perfect for the gym. The IP rating is not that great, bottom of the barrel, IPX4, but overall, not bad first impressions. I'll be back in a week or two with a full review. I'll get some comparison videos going as well. But that's it, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. A sub would be much appreciated. I'll be back soon, guys. Peace.